So Milwaukee Tool has absolutely been killing it with all these new tools coming out. And you've seen the Milwaukee Pipeline that we broadcasted last week. We got a couple more new tools coming up from them, but the one that you've seen during the last Pipeline event was the hatchet, and we got it here. That's right, today we're gonna slice and dice, use and abuse this new M12 Milwaukee hatchet. So let's start out the slicing and the dicing. And don't worry, we'll get to all the specs, all the information that you need on this in a disturbing video that I caught on camera. So this tree right here, you're probably looking at around three inches, six inch blade, but you can cut up to 5.5 inches. My buddy liked this so much, I even gave him a shot. Check it out. Now my buddy has a bit of a chainsaw fetish. When he tried this, he absolutely loved it for the pruning purposes. Getting rid of those smaller branches out in the yard, even if you're a professional landscaper, homeowner, it doesn't matter, this thing slices and dices real nice like. Now don't worry about burning that chain up. Check out how this thing oils itself. Don't worry, I'll show you where the oil goes here in a bit, but check that out. It's oozing and goozing. Now let's talk specs here real quick. I'll show you that disturbing video that I was talking about earlier, and we'll do more cutting. But chain pitch, you're looking at 3 8 of an inch. Maximum cut diameter, 5.5 inches. Torque maximum, 2.25. 28 drive links. You got those claws right up on front. Really holds into that wood. Doesn't allow it to move at all. Look at how smooth those cuts are. This thing is really powerful. I thought for maybe a M12 it wouldn't be, but man, it just goes through like butter. You got a mesh filter in this, the gauge on it, 0 0.043, 120 cuts per charge in two inch hard oak. And if you buy the kit, it'll come with a 4.0 M12 battery, not the 2.0, but the 4.0, so that's real nice. But here's one thing I really love. Look at the size of this clean out right here. The chips, they get thrown out. They don't get stuck or wedged in there. Yeah, they just get sent flying. Now what's really cool is this thing is really small. Again, the chain only six inches, only five pounds, so you can really use this for pruning, getting into those tighter areas, but you still have enough power to cut up to five and a half inch pieces of wood. It's also super quiet, and it doesn't matter if you're going through dry wood or wood that is moist. Moist. And that, my dudes, is awesome. Now, the one thing that really came to mind when using this was maybe camping or firewood. If you needed to cut firewood, you didn't want to bring out a handsaw or a saw that runs on gas, this is perfect. You know, I don't go camping anymore because of that previous incident. I like marshmallows. Yum, 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 yum. Hmm? What, what, what is that? Huh? Is that no Not again. Not again. TRC. Oh. Oh, Alright, so let's take a closer look at this new Milwaukee M12 hatchet. Now it reminds me a lot of the M18 fuel chainsaw. Oh, that's a wasp. Hold on. Where was I? Oh yeah. It's just a mini me of the M18 fuel chainsaw, but a whole heck of a lot lighter and more compact. And that blade is really sharp. Here's a close up on some two by fours. This thing feels great in the hands, hardly any vibration. Oh yeah, it's 100% brushless. Oh, and I forgot, I have one other thing I need to do with it. Damn dead pine trees. Now, of course, you have an onboard storage wrench to tighten that chain if you need. It will become loose every once in a while, but all you gotta do is loosen this up, pull out on your bar a little bit, and then tighten it back up, or you can adjust it with that screw right there. Very, very simple to do. That said, even with all the cutting, that chain didn't move all that much for me, so it was pretty easy to use and didn't have to worry about constant adjustment. 
The spikes also did a great job keeping that saw nice and steady, didn't have to worry about it slipping off the wood. And it also did a very good job self-oiling. You put the oil in like so, and you got that fill line right here so you can see how much oil you have left. But it did a really good job, didn't have to worry about anything burning up or getting too hot. And that grip is also amazing. Real nice like. Balance well, it just, it's just a really good saw. Also love how you can grip the top and you got that grip guard so you don't bust your knuckles and you got the safety switch right here. So very, very well done. I think Milwaukee did an absolutely amazing job with this hatchet. It is small, it is portable, it is light. If you're doing pruning around the yard, some landscaping, or if you just wanna cut some firewood, this thing is really, really good. Again, you got that complete protection around your knuckles, around your hand, very small handle right here so you can hold on to it you got that nice grip it's not going to slip out if your hands are a little bit wet or damp or moist moist i'm going to 100 recommend this and you got a pretty good blade on here it's sharp it'll cut and the cuts are really smooth with this that's what i was really surprised about i mean it's really smooth so if you're interested in trying this i'm going to leave a link in the description below for you to check this thing out i, I absolutely know you're going to love it now Speaking of loving it, if you love this video or if it's helped you in any sort of way, please don't forget to smash that like button as it's greatly appreciated. I'm also going to leave a video here and here for you to check out. I think you'll like those too. Don't forget to get subscribed and hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on any more of these types of tools. I always appreciate you stopping by and with that, we'll be back with more videos soon.